Hello to all the girls that are probably watching this video. Well, I got some points for you that you guys gotta follow because, you know, to, like, how to act in front of a guy. You know, they make a bunch of videos of how to act in front of a girl, but I think this is the probably the first one on how to act in front of a guy. First off, let's start with jealousy. Mm. No, we hate girls who are just too jealous and they make drama out of everything. Stop being jealous, please. I mean, be jealous. It's a little cute when you're a little bit jealous. Like, a little bit. But, it's annoying as fuck when you're really jealous. Like, you know, to a point where you just start accusing people of stuff. Like that. Or saying stupid shit like, oh, I'm gonna leave you. Uh, you know, shit like that. That's annoying. Oh my god, I will fuck you up. I mean, I, I wouldn't because I don't hate girls. But that's what we're thinking. Honestly, that's what we're thinking. We're thinking we're gonna fuck you up if you don't shut up already. Damn it. Yeah. So stop being jealous. Point one. Point two. Trust issues. Um, you girls tend to have really a lot of trust issues. Not most girls, but a little bit of them. Trust issues. But when you do find a girl with trust issues, oh, it's a pain in the freaking ass because they don't trust you for shit. Like if you go to a party. They'll ask you, who were you dancing with? Oh, did you hooked up or something? You know, like that. Girls, don't look. If you're going, if you already have went out with him for a while, why not just trust him? I mean, you've been together for this long. He haven't done nothing to like, like, doubt your trust. Just trust him, okay? Because if he cheats on you, you're gonna have to get over him. But he hasn't. I hasn't. Nobody hasn't. Okay. So just stop having trust issues, okay? If it was in the past, some guy just just stood you over, and now that's why you have trust issues. How about you give this other guy a different chance because he haven't done anything yet without your trust? So, you know, you guys you gotta start out clean with him. That's one. Stop with the trust issues. It's annoying as hell. Please, thank you so much. Two, attitude. Oh my god, some girls got the ugliest attitude in the world. Like, no, it's not that your personality is like that, it's your attitude. Like, you, you guys really should shut the fuck up sometimes, you know? It's annoying. I mean, what do you want with a girl who's gonna be like acting mad dumb with you and cursing you out and, and telling you stupid stuff, telling you you're worth you don't worth shit, telling, telling you she can do better, telling you that uh, she don't know why she's with you. Why, why, why would, what up with the language? Just chill out, okay? That's the no need for the attitude. Chat with the attitude. Cut, girls, please cut your attitude when you're with a guy because we hate attitude. Attitude leads to drama, drama leads to bullshit, bullshit leads to broken heart. So just, you know, stop, with, stop doing stuff that's gonna lead you to broken heart. You know, it's better. So, what else? Next, uh, girls who think guys are all the same. Tell me, if guys are all the same, why does it take you so long to pick one? I mean, if you think guys are all the same, you're gonna pick the same guy that is the same to the next one, and it's gonna be the same thing again. So tell me why you take so long to pick them if we're all the same. See? We're not all the same. Why? Because he might be a jerk, he might be a dick, he might not. It's three different types. And uh, there, there's more types. Like, and so not all guys are different, so st please stop saying guys are different. Because if you say that, like, if you say all guys are like, the same, and like, you're stupid, but if you say that uh, all guys are different, you're more stupid. Because, like, if you consider a guy that is different and you just met him, say you're different. You can't say that. You gotta know him first. All right, you gotta know him like real deep. Like, I, I don't accept the girl just come up to me and say, "Oh, you're different." And I don't got. I gotta know why. Why am I different? Why? Am, like, why am I different? You gotta tell me. Because that's a little confusing. The girls who thinks every uh, every uh, every guy is the same, she's just a stupid. Because not all the guys are the same. Okay, so you guys gotta watch out with the different and the same and the shit like that. All right. Okay, what else? 
<clears throat> girls who are, you know, who just think she's a shit. No, girl, girl, I, I think, I made a quote for that, actually. I think girls who think they are the shit, they're not the shit, they are shit. How's that? Because, like, they're just gonna bring, like, misery to your life. I'm telling you. Guys, to this to guys. Girls gonna bring you, like, with that shit, is gonna bring you misery. And to girls, please stop being like that. Because we're just gonna get more annoyed. I'm just trying to be as honest as I can. Mm, more, uh, there's different type of guys, okay? Me, personally, I'm a bungee jumping, skydiving freak. I'm not dangerous, you know. I like to do stupid shit. Why? Because I don't know if I'm going to be dead tomorrow. So, you got to do it, like, right there. You got to do it when you have time. You got to do it when you know you're going to have the chance. Because you don't know if you're not going to get a chance again. So you got to do it, you know? Uh... Some other guys are chill, down to earth, skateboarders, surfers. Well, I like to surf too, you know, because it's cool. But they're more chill. I'm like, you know, weed smoking, skateboarders, tattoos, and shit like that. I don't like tattoos, honestly. I mean, I would love to get one, but once you think about it, it's just gonna be in your skin forever, so it, it makes me think. Uh, girls, hmm. I, I find really attractive, like really cool, when a girl has the long hair, but then like right in this side, she got like a shape up in the back too, like that, that's just tough, but anyway, girls, you gotta, how do I say this, you gotta make a guy feel like you're there for him, like we don't care, honestly, we don't care what anybody else think, we're, when we're like, if we're going out with you, we're kind of blind right now, because we only think, care what you think, and if you support us, damn, that would be like the greatest shit in the world for us. We'll talk. And, uh, like, it feels, it feels like, you feel, we feel comfort when you, when we have, like, the greatest person in the world supporting us. Like, you feel like, damn, yo. I feel like we're on top of the world. So, you guys, you guys, you girls gotta try to be your best. Because... You guys think that we gotta know how to act around you guys, but you guys don't know that you have to act around good around us too, cause we get annoyed as hell. And one bad move can set the wrong impression with us, because we're guys. Well, me personally, and there's probably more guys like me that they set their first impression, and that's the idea of you. That's what we're gonna take it. But like. I don't, I don't want to keep the first impression, I gotta know you too, like, and then I said the idea, but some guys, they said the idea of you, just as to, they see the first impression of you, and, uh, so you gotta do the best you can is your first expression, impression, for example, uh, when I was in 8th grade, right, there was this girl I met, I was, in 8th grade, I was really stupid, like, I acted really dumb, I had ADD, and, uh, I I used to act kind of stupid, and I got mad, and I punched like uh, a light pole full of staples, and I punched it really, really hard, and then I started bleeding from my knuckles, and then that was the first time I saw the girl, and she think I'm, I'm like some psycho and such shit. And I try to tell her like I'm different now, but you know, girls are hard hearted too sometimes. Uh, oh yeah, guys are hard hearted too. Like. If you do something stupid, if you do some bullshit, it's gonna be hard to change our mind. Because we're hard-headed, we're still born. Okay, so just don't do the first bullshit and everything's gonna be alright and stop acting like you know everything. Alright. Just be there for him. You know? That'll be the best thing you can do. Peace.